Rwanda na tutatengeneza industry tumesema tutaunganisha watu wa jua kali na industry na tivet ili tuweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba mambo yoyote tunayoagiza kutoka nje wood and products tunaagiza kutoka nje tutatengeneza hapa nyumbani textile products tunaagiza kutoka nje tutatengeneza hapa nyumbani leather products ambazo tunatengeneza tunaagiza kutoka nje tutatengeneza hapa nyumbani tutatumia ngozi ya ngombe yetu ili kutengeneza leza products pamoja na viatu na hawa vijana wetu ndio watakuwa mafundi ndio watakuwa ma technologies ndio watatusaidia kuzalisha mali hapa Kenya tuendelee maskini na tutengeneze ajira ya hawa vijana wetu baringo mnanielewa jamani Hao sasa wiga baringo. Tunaungaliana. Na ndio tumekuja hapa ndugu zetu kwa sababu tarehe tisa ni tarehe ya muhimu sana. Hiyo tarehe we, wiki ijayo sio mbali imebaki siku saba bwana. Si imebaki siku saba. Ukweli ama si kweli? Sasa tarehe tisa mwaka mwezi ujao. Tarehe tisa mwezi huu. Si ndio? Tarehe tisa wiki ijayo ni siku ya muhimu sana. Watu wa Baringo mko tayari? Baringo mko tayari? Tarehe tisa Na mimi nataka niwaambie sisi tuko tayari. Si namna hiyo? Na tuko tayari kupiga kura tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane Na hatutaki matata na mtu. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Tunamwambia rafiki yetu rais wewe ni rafiki yetu tulisimama na wewe ni kweli ama si kweli na hatuna problem na wewe my friend wewe tunakuomba tu kwa heshima kwa sababu hata wewe rais saa zingine unatuchomea kabisa unatuchomea bwana yani my friend yani kwa uh, bwana rais hapo umetuangusha hapo ulituangusha alituangusha au tuangusha hapo ulituangusha my friend na hiyo hatuwezi kubali hiyo mtu akitenda wili na mimi nashukuru jana rais aliongea vizuri jana alisema jana aka hand over kwa yule mtu atachaguliwa na wananchi wa Kenya boss hapo tu hatuna shida nyingine Tulikuwa na problem. Ndio. Bwana Rais, sisi tulikuwa na problem na wewe wakati ulikuwa unasema at you cannot hand over to William Ruto. Ulikuwa unawaambia watu at you can hand over to William Ruto. Hapo tulikuwa na problem. Lakini kwa sababu umekubali at yule wa Kenya watachagua utahand over. Ah, tuko pamoja bwana. No problem, tuko pamoja kabisa. Sindio? Ama namna gani? Tafadhali, 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 tafadhali. Tupunguze, tupunguze. Aya. Sindio? Rafiki yangu. Rafiki yangu bwana president. Pia umesema mambo mazuri jana. Umesema yule ambaye atashindwa wewe na yeye mtaenda nyumbani. Hiyo ni mzuri kabisa. Utatusaidia ile mtu asimue reli. Na asilete fujo. Na asipange maandamano. Na asijiapishe. Muende nyumbani na yeye huyo mtu akitenda wili. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Ni kweli ama si kweli? Tumekubaliana? Tumekubaliana? Mimi nataka niwaambie ndugu zangu. Watu wa hapa Kabarnet hatutaki mambo ya fujo katika taifa letu la Kenya. Na tunamuomba tena rais atuzaidie kitu kimoja. Vile alimkemea ule kinoti wakati alijaribu kuchochea watu hapa na mambo ya post election violence about one year ago, rais alimkemea ule kinoti akamwambia kinoti awache uchinga. Mimi nataka niwaambie rais kuna wajinga wengine tena wametokea 
wanaandika leaflets wanaandika pamphlets na wengi ya hawa watu wanafanya kazi katika ofisi ya rais wanafanya mikutano ya usiku wanaangaisha machifu wetu wanajaribu kuwalazimisha machifu wavuruge uchaguzi wa Kenya bwana rais tunataka kukuuliza tafadhali waambie hawa matapeli na wakora wale watu wako huko katika ofisi ya rais wawachane na machifu wawachane na members of provincial administration wawachane na wafanyikazi wa serikali wafanyikazi wa serikali wafanye kazi kwa wakenya wote bila ya kuwabagua kwa mambo ya milengo ya siasa ama dini ama rangi ama kabila tunataka wafanyikazi wetu wote wafanyie wakenya in fairness as a provincial administration a professional government service wale watu wa azimio watafute wati yao ya kupanga mambo ya ukora ukweli ama si kweli ukweli ama si kweli so we are asking our friend the president after yesterday when you accepted that you are going to hand over to whoever is elected by the people of Kenya there we are in consonant with you mr president and also you told us that whoever is going to lose in this election they will go home together with you and we are telling barakitenda wili listen to what the president is saying ndio usitusumbue na mambo ya maandamano mkimaliziwa mwende nyumbani pamoja ama mnasemaje huko baringo ama mnasemaje we are asking the president please mr president sir the way you told kimoti not to choke not to bring division using matters post election violence last year we want you mr president with a lot of respect to tell those in the office of the president who are financing all these pamphlets and leaflets which are inciting the people of Kenya we want to tell you mr president please tell those characters to stop that nonsense because the people of Kenya do not want to go that direction the people of Kenya are united the people in Rift Valley are united na mimi nataka niwaambie i want to tell every kenyan we are going to have a peaceful election in kenya there will be no violence in this country there will be no conflict in this country and i want to ask every kenyan not to accept the incitement that is going on we want the meetings with chiefs and assistant chiefs to stop the meetings that are being used to hire people who we are being told are supposed to disrupt the elections on the 9th of august we want that business stopped the people of kenya will make free independent democratic choices on the 9th of august and in this rift valley people will vote the way they want they will vote for whoever they want even if they are voting for my competitor we will support them to vote the way they want because we are democrats and we believe in democratic free will of the people to make their own choices tumewaliana na mimi tumewaliana ara hii ni ya tawale oyele yega aitu oyele ni wana ngura ni ya tawale